Coleman, would you talk about the uh, matchup with Harper and how that got you going? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, I took a I took a official visit there uh, at Rutgers back in like my junior year. I'm good. I became good friends with Ron, so and uh, I know he's a great player. Uh, coach has been on me for a while now, talking about Harper, Harper, Harper. Uh, you know, he's who are we going to put on him? Who are we going to put on him? Uh, but, you know, I, I took the challenge. I think I did a pretty good job tonight. Uh, it, it was just exciting to know, you know, we're, we're real cool with each other. But, you know, I accepted the matchup and, you know, we came out with a win, so I'm happy. Coleman, uh, Coach talked about how you can be an elite defender. Um, how much are you kind of settling into that? Or what's the process of kind of figuring out how to be that? Um, I think just bringing energy and just going 100% every 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 trip. Uh, sometimes, you know, I catch myself on film kind of taking plays off, just relaxing. But I think as long as I'm going 100%, you know, I, I think I'm going to get pretty good a position to, you know, play elite defense. If Jake, what was going right for you guys as a team tonight to roll up that score? Um, yeah, I mean, it started off with our defense. Um, coach complimented us on our defense um, after the game, and, and the ball was popping. Um, everybody was getting touches. We were playing, as we call, .5 basketball. Um, once you grow as a team, it, it just kind of manifests in itself that uh, you start elevating each other and, and playing for one another. And, um, that's what you started to see tonight. <coughs> Jake, what is point .5 basketball? Uh, the ball's popping, like okay. make make quick decisions. Just uh, I don't know another term. Just just move, just moving the ball. Point uh, five, like half a second. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Kofi is really you know, passing the ball really well. What does that do when he's being a facilitator, especially with all you shooters? Just pick your poison. I mean, he's a menace uh, in the paint. Uh, and then we got menaces out uh, on the three point line. So uh, I feel like it's a tough scout at the end of the day. Cool, man, you said you knew Ron Harper coming in. Did that give you a little bit of extra attention or to detail to want to lock him up as well as you did tonight? Yeah, for sure. Like I said, Coach has been, you know, talking about this uh, for a while now. Like, who's going to stop Ron? I need a forward. You know, Ron's a pro, <coughs> this, that. And I, I know, you know, Ron's uh, probably one of their best players. Uh, you know, he can really score the ball. He's a great three-point shooter. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, just taking him out the game, uh, I, I feel like they didn't really have any other options. So just locking in on that, and you saw what happened at the win. Coleman, talk about, I know they're down one guy, but the Big Ten opener, I mean, it's a big deal for you guys, and you guys have a really good team. Talk about what that means to, this t to the team and for the season. Yeah, uh, we just, you know, Kind of like Coach was saying, like make a statement tonight uh, with our defense, show teams that you know those those early games are done. You know we're basically like zero zero now. Like it's Big Ten now. Uh, it's it's a bloodbath every night, and uh, anybody can beat anybody in this league. So just make a point, uh, make a statement tonight, and show the Big Ten like you know we're we're back. We're Big Ten champs, and we're back. Do you maybe just feel like you guys were building to this type of performance you know, after kind of stringing those the three wins together before this? Um, I mean, absolutely. I think this the season is a, a building process. Um, you learn from from the previous game, and um, yes, but I, th I think the whole the whole season uh, is a is a staircase. For both of you guys, have you seen? Kofi grow as a passer? Was that an emphasis in the offseason, and how has that kind of progressed for him? Um, I mean, I see him working on it all the time. Um, I know that's his feedback um, to, to become that, that passer out of the paint since he draws so much attention. Um, and he's, he's finding guys, uh, so um, I'm, I'm thankful for him. I'm, I'm happy he's on my team. Uh, for the both of you guys, I imagine that or Coleman Horsbus, I guess actually for both of you. Neither of you guys have played a Big Ten game here with fans. What was it like to be able to feed off the Orange Crush tonight, which was obviously pretty rowdy? Uh, yeah, it's it just makes I think it makes you more comfortable. You know, I I think uh, going on the road, 
and playing in front of a, a different crowd. It's like a true like home court advantage and just being at home with electric fans, you know, crazy fans that love us. Uh, I think it just, you know, makes you feel comfortable, brings you more energy, uh, makes you want to play hard. Question for both of you guys. Uh, what does Demonte mean to uh, both of you guys? Uh, Monte is a fighter. He's a dog. Someone asked me this question before, um, but but he he's a do it all guy, plug a um, plug elite guy. He uh, it's even it's hard to describe how how um, impactful his, his game is. He just makes so many good plays. He's a vet. He, he knows exactly what he's doing. Um, hard rotten cat. Um, Monte just does everything. I love Monte. Yeah, I mean, my, you know, coach throws him in different positions all the time, uh, and he, he takes up those challenges, uh, guarding different positions. You know, he's super strong. He can guard one through four, um, but yeah, Monte just, you know, he's a real cool guy on it, like on and off the court. He, you know, he, he's a leader, uh, and you know, if you're if you're, uh, you know, not doing so well or you're kind of out of it, you know, he he just lets you know like, hey, let's rock, let's keep going. Uh, and like I said, he's a, he's a great leader, so it means a lot to have him on this team. Hey guys, this is a question for both of you. Uh, Alfonso's been shooting really well to start the season. You guys practice with him all the time. Is like, is this just a hot streak, or is this just uh, who he is? It's legit. That's <laughs> him. Every day. Sometimes you know he shoots a shot, you're like, what the, and then it goes in. It's like that's Alfonso. <clears throat> Jake, this is the most shots you've taken in a game since you came to Illinois, most threes as well. Is that a concerted effort to be more aggressive offensively, or is that just playing within the flow of the game? Just within the flow of the game. Absolutely. This is for both of you guys. I mean, you've got 19 more Big Ten games, but what's the importance of getting number one? Uh, I think, like I said, just like making a statement to teams, uh, Showing teams how you know aggressive we are on defense, uh, but you know, uh, you know, one one loss like every every win every loss counts, and it, that was shown last year. So uh, just making sure we come out get a win, and like you said, we got 19 more, so we're gonna work hard to try to win all 19. Jay Weaver Coleman say make a statement. Have you guys talked about that specifically to come out with this first one and make a statement, or is it just kind of how it unfolded tonight? Um, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, the narrative is it's, is uh, the narrative is itself. You know, we're um, last year Big Ten champs, um, where we were ranked. Everybody's coming for us, targeting our back. So I mean, uh, you definitely want to set yourself up um, with that first win, just kind of. Uh, like you said, uh, making a statement, we're here, we're, we are who we are. This is for both of you guys. <clears throat> Talk about what Coach Underwood does to the program. Not only lifts you guys up when you're down, all that. What does he do for you guys to, to keep you guys in a positive mindset? I think he just challenges you. Like, Although sometimes it may seem like mind games, like he kind of just challenges you to bring the best out of you. And I think... Uh, like tonight, you know, just challenging me, saying stuff here and there to me about Ron Harper, Ron Harper, and uh, you know, you know, kind of fueling that fire. So when that moment comes, you know, I, I can perform and and uh, act on what he's been saying, and you know, kind of proving him wrong in a way because he's always saying something to you know, kind of get you fired up, and it might not always be like a positive thing, but uh, just kind of fuel, like I said, fueling the fire. This is for either of you guys. Obviously, fell out of the top 25 before this week, responded with two of probably your stronger wins of the season thus far. Was that any added motivation this week? Um, I mean, it's there, but uh, rankings and all that is, 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 in my eyes, media output is just a number next to somebody's team. Um, so it's really just about us and, and every single every single day, all the drills we do in practice and competing and, and all that stuff that, that, that counts more than that. I guess Coleman, with, with this you know, whole, obviously you guys won the Big Ten tournament last year and the we are who we are. What, what's the balance, I guess, because we've also heard you guys talk about like wanting to turn the page into this season. I guess, how do you kind of mix those two thoughts? Uh, 
like, do you, yeah, do you describe, like, I'm just kind of. I mean, I mean, we've heard you guys talk about wanting to turn the page from last season mm -hmm. after what you had, but also the reality is that you guys did have a really successful Big Ten season. Like, how do you blend those two ideas and, and not get too hung up either way? Yeah, just kind of stand on business, you know. We have the same one more, uh, you know, one more this, one more that, uh, one more win. And uh, we want to get, you know, one more Big Ten championship. And uh, just standing on business, uh, working hard, showing teams what we do, doing what we do. And like I said, standing on business, that's, that's all we can do. Did you guys see some opportunities uh, in the scouting report to get some open looks from three against this team? And, uh, or is that something that just happened uh, in the flow of the game? Um, I don't like giving away scouting reports. Um, <laughs> but I will say that we had a game plan and we executed it uh, very well. Um, and, and teams will, will always, uh, or the next game we'll have is going to be different than this game. Um, so I'm not going to answer that question specifically, but um, I'll say that we executed our game plan. Anything else for the guys? All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.